Hello, CSUSB family, and thank you for joining us for this learning training on volunteer service in your resume. CSUSB students, staff, and faculty contributed to more than 60,000 hours of volunteer service during the past year, even with a move to a virtual campus in March. And many of you have the question, is it useful or important to include volunteer service experience in your resume? The answer is an overwhelming yes. From this presentation, you'll learn the benefits of including volunteer service in your resume, best practices to maximize the impact of your volunteer experience in your resume, and you'll learn how CSUSB employees can receive recognition for their volunteer service. Let's first talk about some reasons why you may want to include your volunteer experience in your resume. Including your volunteer service in your resume demonstrates that you are interested in doing more than what you are told to. People who volunteer are generous with their time and they go above and beyond to help others. Imagine what that looks like to a potential employer. It shows that not only are you capable of doing your work, but you're also willing to help other colleagues. Volunteer service also makes you stand out to employers and shows that you are a great fit for the organization. Just like your volunteer service shows that you're actively involved in the community, it will suggest that you're just as eager to become a positive member of the workplace community. Volunteering also allows the opportunity to showcase the passion and commitment you have to an employer. If you are looking to work for a particular department at CSUSB, a good way to start showing interest, showing commitment and dedication can be as easy as participating in their volunteer efforts. Another important reason to include volunteer service in your resume is if you have limited professional experience. Maybe you recently graduated and are looking to take the next step in your career, Volunteer service can benefit you in two ways. First, it shows that you can put your skills into practice. Having accounting classes on your transcript is great, but it's even better when it's reinforced with some sort of experience. For example, you can put your accounting skills into practice by being the treasurer of a local church or a community organization. This will show an employer that you have the skills and are also effectively using them. Secondly, it shows evidence of your transferable skills. Employers look for a particular set of skills that are transferable from job to job, and these skills can be built during your time as a volunteer. The qualities that you've gained from volunteering can include communication, teamwork, problem solving, leadership, and enthusiasm, and all are valuable skills to have listed on your resume, your cover letter, and any other application materials. Okay, let's talk about how to include volunteer service on your resume. Most professionals have a volunteer service or a volunteer experience sections to their resume. You can word it however you would like, but please avoid using the term community service. This may relate that you have some sort of court ordered service and may draw some negative um, attention to your resume. Let's start by providing an overview of the volunteering position. The first thing you want to do is give yourself a descriptive title. You don't just want to write volunteer as your position. Let the employer know a little bit more. The example we will be using today is of a person who held a volunteer fundraiser position. This gives more context to the person's experience than just saying volunteer. After you've included your position title, name the organization where you volunteer. Our example shows that this person volunteered for Arrowhead United Way. Beside the organization, include the city and the state for your service. Just like your work experience, don't include street address and zip code. Keep it simple, just city and state. You also want to include the dates that you volunteer and write this in a month year to month year format. If you're still volunteering for the organization, you can write present. Now let's put it all together and try to use this example as a guide. The correct way to write it all out is volunteer fundraiser, comma, Arrowhead United Way, comma, San Bernardino, California, comma, August 29th to present. The next thing you want to do is share some duties that you had while volunteering. You want to include anywhere from two to five examples and make sure these are all important parts of the volunteer service experience. Don't overshare information that does not add much to your resume. Okay, so two to five examples of duties. And what you want to do in these examples is write out what you did for the organization and start each example with a verb. Let's look back at our example. Here we have an individual who was a fundraiser for Arrowhead United Way. 
this person recruited and trained four volunteers, planned and promoted two successful events which increased contributions. You don't want to start your jobs with, I trained or we planned. Start with an action verb and describe the roles you had in each position. Another thing to be aware of is adding measurables. And what are measurables, you ask? These are the dollar amounts, the time spans, the volumes, and percentages that help quantify your accomplishments on a resume. Let's visit the example. This person included the amount of volunteer fundraisers that they recruited and trained, the number of events that the person planned and promoted, and the benefit that this provided Arrowhead United Way, which was $30,000 in pledges. Last but not least, this person also increased contributions by 15%. Measurables are a great way to show the impact of your work. Just look at the example. Planning and promoting two events sounds okay, but if you add context and write that the event generated $30,000 in pledges, it sounds significantly more impactful. And if your volunteer service did not produce measurable results, here's something that can help. You can assign a dollar value to volunteer hours of each assignment. The current value of a California volunteer hour is worth $31.51. So if you completed 100 hours of service, your volunteer efforts were valued at $3,151. There's also another way to share your outstanding volunteer service through the awards and honors section of your resume. CSUSB faculty and staff can be recognized for their volunteer service efforts through the Do Good Volunteer Recognition Award. The Do Good Award recognizes those individuals who continue to make positive impacts on our community, even in the face of uncertainty. Although the pandemic has created challenges in our everyday lives, these individuals continue to do good. To be eligible for this recognition, CSUSB staff and faculty must volunteer for a minimum of 25 hours each semester. Volunteer service hours must be submitted for non-paid work that is focused on providing services for the off-campus community. For information about specific dates, how to submit your volunteer hours and what does and does not count, you can visit us using that bit.ly right there, bit.ly forward slash do good employee. You can also join us Tuesday, October 27th for a do good award presentation and get a chance to get some of your questions answered. Hopefully this learning training answers some questions about volunteer service in your resume. As I mentioned throughout the presentation, your next employer will be excited to see volunteer service as a part of your resume. If you would like the Office of Community Engagement to take a look at your resume and provide some feedback on the volunteer service section, please email us at leaveyourpopprint at csusb.edu. And thank you for joining us for this learning training.